Hey, it's Mark Williams of Swine Life Barbecue. I got my good buddy Malcolm Reed here today, and we're cooking crawfish. Hey, Mark, you have me when you say come do a crawfish video, man. I can cook barbecue anytime, but if you say we're doing crawfish the way we like to eat them, I'm running. <laughs> hey, it's springtime. That lets us know it's that time of year. We got a ton of ingredients and stuff we like putting in the crawfish. We got some pickled okra, some jalapeno stuffed olive. Heck, got some of your big deal pickles. But what I'm excited about is something not many people know anything about. What is this? That's my new crawfish, crab, boiled, dry seasoning. It's perfect for cooking a part of crawfish, and that's what we're gonna put in it today. I even brought some extra hot sauce and some jalapenos. We're gonna fire this batch up, Mark. Yeah, we're gonna bring the heat, and this batch here, I know we've done a video like this before on your channel. This is a one-pot method. We're cooking everything in one single pot, using that boil box to cool it off. It'll be one heck of a flavorful crawfish. I'm ready. Let's get to boiling. So you know when it comes to cooking crawfish, it's all about getting that water right. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this pot filled up with water, start letting it heat up, and get them seasoning in it. So this is an 80-quart pot. We're gonna fill it up just a little bit over halfway. That way it gives you plenty of room to drop that sack of crawfish, get all your ingredients in here. It's a pretty standard crawfish rig. We got a double jet burner underneath. Shouldn't take it too long. We'll be boiling here shortly. I like the way that sounds, Mark. That's that jet engine taking off. We're going to crawfish town. Water's come to a boil. It's time to make it right. We got five pounds of dry crab boil. What's on deck next, Mark? Got a shaker grit, shaker AP. That's right, both of those going in. It's then always we got smelling good. Your favorite, two bottles of hot sauce. Shake them on down. We got two sticks of butter. I'm gonna use our tub as a measurement. We're gonna do about halfway up with liquid. That should be about 24 ounces. Maybe a little more, but hey, that's just flavor. Now for our citrus element, we're gonna squeeze. We got probably eight whole lemons or so. Squeeze them, drop them in the water. You'll get some of that lemon flavor out of that zest. Start cooking them oils out. Get it stirred up good and turn the heat back up. We brought the pot back to boil for about 10 minutes. It's time to kill the gas. Let all them season and get happy. Let them steep in there. Them lemons done cooked down. It'll be a good citrus flavor. We'll let this go about five minutes. We'll fire it back up and we're gonna put the taters in. So to get these crawfish good and clean, we don't purge them, we wash them. You untie your sack, dump the whole thing in our crawfish washer. And what we're gonna do is fill it up with water, let it circulate. It's gonna clean these crawfish. It's gonna get all that mud, all that dirt off of them. They're gonna be nice and clean. So Malcolm got the crawfish in the wash tub. We're gonna get a water hose hooked up and then turn this baby on. Now this crawfish washer has jets in the side of it. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna fill the tub up with water. We'll pull the drain and it'll cause a whirlpool just circulating the crawfish around, washing all that mud, that debris off of them. And it's gonna keep these crawfish from being gritty when we cook them. If you've ever had gritty crawfish, it's because they weren't washed properly. So these crawfish have been in the washer for right at 30 minutes. And you can see how crystal clear and clean the water is. This is the point where if you see any that got the straight tail, you gotta get them out because you don't wanna cook the dead ones. So you can tell these crawfish are good and clean. We're gonna shut the water off, let the water drain out. And here in just a second, we're gonna be ready to drop our potatoes in the bowl, let these crawfish drain, and we'll be cooking them crawdads shortly. So we brought the pot back to a boil after we let it steep. First thing going down is a pound and a half of these little Yukon Gold new potatoes. We'll set a timer for five minutes, check them. They may need 10, but these little potatoes, they won't take long. Crank the heat back up. So it's been 10 minutes, we checked the potatoes. They're good and al dente. It's time to get these crawfish in there with them. It is rolling, Mark. What are we putting on top? All right, so now we're gonna bring in the mustard and sausages. They're gonna cook with the crawfish. We got a whole, two whole jars of pickled jalapenos. Juice, juice and, and all. all. Dill pickles with the vinegar. You want that vinegar element. That's gonna help those crawfish tails peel nice. Now these dill pickles do have garlic. They have some onions, jalapeno stuffed olives. And garlic stuffed olives. Come on in there. Do drain the brine on the olives. You don't need the brine in there. We got it salty enough. What else you got over there? Is that it? That's it for this That's dog. it. So we're gonna get the lid on. We're gonna be washing for steam. I'm not gonna take the lid off. As soon as I see a little bit of steam come out of one of these holes or around the lid, we're gonna set a timer for three minutes. It's early in the year. These crawfish don't take long. Let's turn the heat up. All right, these crawfish boiled three minutes. We got our corn, it's been froze. That's gonna help cool this water off. We got Added some okra too, Mark. That's right. Let's get it in the pot. Now what are we gonna do? We finna cool it off. We're gonna put this boil boss on there, get that water going. 
Man, it's smelling and looking good already. This is what's gonna get the flavor inside the crawfish. We're not done cooking them. We gotta soak them. We gotta get our corn. We gotta get the mushrooms, all that seasoning, all that spices into the ingredients we put in the pot. And this boil boss, spraying water on the outside is gonna help us chill it fast. We're looking at about what, four or five minutes, Mark? Yep, four minutes, we should be ready to soak, cut the water off. We're gonna let it soak 45 minutes today. Oh, they're gonna be hot and spicy. Key is, get that water going, keep stirring. You can tell all these crawfish are floating right now. Once that water starts cooling off, you'll see them start sinking. All that is, they soaking up that flavor just like a sponge. They getting heavy, Mark. So we've had this boil boss on there for about four minutes. It's already dropped down to 140. We're gonna go ahead and cut the water off and we're gonna let these crawfish set. Now I'm gonna go 45 minutes a day, try them at 20, see if it's how you like it. If not, let them keep soaking. They're just gonna to continue to soak up that flavor. Gonna be some mighty fine crawfish here shortly. These crawfish been soaking 45 minutes. It's time to get them in the cooler. Oh, it's time to eat, Mark. Getting close. Let me get that cooler for you. Let them drain for just a second. Get all the juices off, going straight to the cooler. Man, it smells so good. Oh yeah. One pot, pure whole cooler full. Just gonna feed about what? Me, me, I mean, you, me and, and you. a couple other people. Hey, don't let them, don't let them ooh, pickles go oh, back in there, Mark. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna get. The, ooh, see that big deal right there? That's gonna be the first bite. That pickle's so mm. good. Can't bottle them that good. It's time to put these in the platter, see what they're all about. It's time, Mark. That's it. That's what I've been waiting for all day. You've been promising me crawfish. We got oh, all the man. fixings. Me and you finna sneak in and get these before everybody gets here. What are we gonna do? Throw the rest of them out on the table a little bit later? Oh, yeah. We'll throw some butcher paper down. Hey, butcher paper ain't just for briskets. What you talking about? Can I go ahead and get me one? I won't tell nobody. Let's get it. You know you gotta suck on the is head. Is it worth it? Piece of tail. That is where it's at. There's another one. I ain't got a garbage can right here, so we just gonna go to eat. Two Damn. and a half, maybe three minutes. Me and Mark got these. Oh, this ain't gonna last. Them heads mm. full of juice. Check that out. Olive. Mmm. Bar. You hang on, olive. wait. We gotta find the okra. Y'all don't know, but we tried There's the okra one. a little sooner. That's probably my favorite thing in there. The okra in it? I've been waiting for the mushroom. Mm. I love the mushrooms. That okra got some heat. Mushroom soaks it up. It gets all that flavor. It's like a sponge in that crawfish boil. But you got these right. They're spicy. They're full of flavor. I can taste all the ingredients we put in it, but they're not burning my hands no. up, my lips up. All that flavor, I'm taking that flavor to the brain. The red skin sausage. Man, we gotta find us a tater. They ain't mushy. Breaks right apart. Does it have anything? Does it taste like potatoes or does it taste like crawfish? You can taste the clove in that boil. That's a good tater. That ain't bad. That's out the park. That works. This is how I want to eat crawfish every time I eat them, Mark. That's how you do crawfish right. Swine lifestyle. Come here, buddy. Whew. I can eat this whole platter. I don't know what you're gonna eat. We got another sack. They just don't know about that one yet. Oh yeah, we got some more sacks. That's a wrap for today at Swine Life. Malcolm, I want to thank you for coming by. Anytime. That's some mighty fine crawfish. Hey, anytime you want to cook crawfish and you need a big boy to hang out, I'm your boy. That's it. Y'all make sure to check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Malcolm, where can they find you? Hey, you got me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. We're even doing a TikTok, so how to barbecue right. Maybe I can send some subscribers your way. I'd appreciate it if you do, Mark. <laughs> That's a wrap. We'll see y'all next time. Let's eat some crawfish. In there. Mm. That's I too much talking, not enough eating. I ain't doing no pie. Uh, all right, you don't like that? <laughs> huh. Ready? That's a wrap for today at Swine Life. Malcolm, pie yeah, Mark. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 all right.